Hey friends, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to replace a broken sprinkler head. So if your sprinkler head looks like this and you have the sprinkler head in your hand, then this video is for you. So let's get to it. So first thing what you're gonna to wanna to do is turn on your sprinkler valve and with the orbit style, you just turn the solenoid to the on position until all the sprinklers turn on. And then you're gonna to wanna to look around and identify where your broken sprinkler head is and mark it with something. Once you got your sprinkler valve off, you're gonna to wanna to dig up, dig around where your sprinkler head was to figure out exactly what is needed. Once you got your sprinkler head dug up, you can kind of see what's going on here. So here's the three quarter inch PVC pipe that's actually coming from the valve. This is the three quarter PVC pipe that's actually going to the next sprinkler in line. So this is our problem here. This is the sprinkler riser. And as you can see, it's kind of ragged here on the top. So this is what broke. The, the actual sprinkler head just snapped right off here. So what we're gonna do is remove this black piece, which is the riser. This white piece is what stays. This is the T that stays. That's part of your sprinkler system. We're gonna remove this T take it to Home Depot, get it matched up, and we're gonna get a new one, install it here. Um, if, you, if you're not sure what to get, go ahead and remove this, bring it to Home Depot with you, or Lowe's, whatever you prefer, and uh, just pick up a new one of these. Obviously, this is gonna be uh, contingent, the, the, the height of this is gonna be contingent on getting the sprinkler head flush with the, with the level of the grass when you're all done, so you're gonna to wanna to keep that in mind. So to remove this, you just kinda of grab it with some pliers, and you do lefty loosey, righty tighty, just like any other thing that's threaded in. And once you do a few turns, it will most likely come off by hand. And this is what it looks like right here. It's just got half inch thread right here on the bottom, screws right into that. And as you can see here, this is where it snapped off right here. So we're gonna go get a new one of these and get a new sprinkler head. You're gonna wanna take into account what kind of sprinkler head you need, whether you need a 180 degree, a 90 degree, or a 360 degree sprinkler head, along with your sprinkler head riser. So we're gonna go pick these up. We got a few other sprinkler heads that are broken in this lawn, so we're gonna grab a few while we are there as well. Okay, so here at Home Depot, what we're gonna to wanna to get is a new half inch riser. Um, so as you can see here, this is our old one that we brought in. You can see it's half inch by half inch, and this one's quite a bit taller, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up cutting this to the appropriate height, whatever height we need. And so if you don't have one, we're gonna, you're gonna need to grab some sort of cutter. A PVC cutter usually works best for this, just to cut these at the specific height. And you're also gonna wanna pick up uh, sprinkler heads. Um, these ones I like particularly because they go, they range from zero to 360 degrees. You can adjust that so that, uh, you know, or you could get a taller one, whatever works best for you, whatever style you had. So this will obviously depend on how high you cut your riser to. But these are the few things you're gonna to wanna to get. You're gonna to wanna to match up whatever sprinkler head you need if you need a new one. And then also a riser and however many risers you need. I always get a little bit extra of these. They're, they're pretty cheap and you can return them. I also get extra sprinkler heads just in case one doesn't work or anything like that. Another thing I wanted to mention about these risers is there are three different styles. There are, so this one here is a half inch by three quarter inch. And this one is three quarter inch by three quarter inch. So. That's why it's best to bring the riser that you had originally to the store with you so you can match it up. See, obviously this one wouldn't work. So if you were to get this one, it would not work for you. This one would not work for you. This one is the one that I need particularly. In your case, you may need one of these, but it's best to bring the one that you already have to match it up. Okay, we're back from Home Depot with all the parts that we need for this project. And believe it or not, you've already done the hardest part of this project right now. So we're gonna get to the rest. So really, uh, the whole theory behind this is we are going to be hooking this riser back into here. So it's going to be uh, going down about that far. And then this is going to be plugging into the top here. But obviously you want to make it level with the top of the grass. So you're going to kind of kind of use your best judgment here. And I'm going to say about right there is about perfect. So we're going to need to cut this right at this level here. And that is where these PVC cutters come into play that I told you about at the store here. So you're gonna go ahead and put these in there. Let me turn this around so you can see it a little bit better. Just like that, right at the top there. And this is the part that you're left with here. So the top of it is gonna screw onto your sprinkler head. And if you can't screw it on all right now, that's fine. And then the rest of it is gonna screw down into, and at this point you're gonna to wanna to tighten it down as tight as you could get it. 
And if it is still yet too high, then you can go ahead and cut one more section of your riser off. Looking at that, it might be a smidge high, but I think if we cut one more riser off, it would be too low. No, I think, I think looking at that, we're gonna cut one more riser off. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cut one more riser off. So in that case, you just unscrew it, and you can go ahead and cut that riser section off right in place. So we went ahead and cut one more riser section off, so we're gonna screw our sprinkler head right down into place. That looks good, I like that. Okay, then the next step is to turn it on and adjust it. Once your sprinkler works, you can turn the top valves, because this is a zero to 360, like, it was, like I said before. So you turn this, um, just the green part, and you just keep turning this and adjusting it until you get the correct swath on it. All right, that there looks about right. And it looks like it's at about the right height. It's just spraying over the grass, so that's perfect. So we're going to go ahead and put the grass back in. All right, there's not much to the grass right there. But we pretty much got it all back in. We got it aimed correctly. So that is a successful sprinkler head repair.